Hello and thanks for watching this Acumatica video, preview of features of 2021 R1. In this video, we're going to talk about generic inquiries. So if you've seen through many different versions of Acumatica, generic inquiries continue to get their fair share of new features. So to get started, let's open up our generic inquiry. And we'll take a look at our track packages generic inquiry. The first thing is, is in previous versions of Acumatica, you couldn't change the inquiry title. So when we take a look at this generic inquiry, the title that shows up here. So if we go back, you now can change it through the actions menu, change inquiry title. The next thing is, is we can now add URL links to one of the fields through our navigation panel. So where we're looking here under track packages, maybe the ability to have a link to Federal Express to see a tracking number. So if we jump over to the navigation tab and we add a new link, over here, if we paste, for example, Federal Express's tracking URL, there's Federal Express, this is the entire URL. Notice at the end, we have a field here token field that we've created for tracking number. So for example, this is the tracking number that Federal Express expects through this URL. It equals, and then we're going to put this value right here. So we'll make this a pop-up window and we'll hit the plus button here. And now when we do this drop down, it now sees and identifies that we put a field there. And our parameter will be that tracking number. So we'll save that. Now, with all navigations, we go to results grid. Over here for this particular tracking number field, we need to say navigate to, and we now have this new navigation target. So we'll save that. And we'll view this inquiry. Now you can see there's a URL for all the tracking numbers. You click on it. This will pop up and it now shows your tracking information. So this could be very helpful to use this. And you could do a number of different things. For example, uh, maybe you have a specific item code and you want to go to a manufacturer's website to get the latest and greatest on that particular product and the URL is separated by a code that you already have an Acumatic product ID code. Next thing we're going to talk about are enhancements to side panel. So there's quite a few of them. If we go back to generic inquiry and we look at our navigation. Right now we have one side panel to show the shipment for each packet. So what does that mean? Let's go back. You can see the side panel here. If we open it up, as we traverse through different records, you're seeing those different shipments change on the right-hand side, the side panel. Now, if we were to add another side panel, let's say, for example, we want to see a customer screen. We'll pick that. Over here, notice Acumatica moved the window mode from this navigation side over here on the left-hand side. So we'll change this to side panel. And as we do that, we now can map the field. That's the account CD from customer. The parameter that we're passing is going to be this the account CD as well. And then we have icon. So the other enhancement is we now have an easier ability to navigate through the different types of icon. So we can start to search for something, for example, people, and we could see it right there. So let's take a look at how this works. Go back to our tab for the generic inquiry. We'll refresh. And now you can see over here, we're showing shipments on the first tab, the first icon. And down below, we're showing customers. 
So again, as we go down and we hit another customer here, you can see that customer show up there. So if we go back, one of the other things that Acumatica has improved is the ability to move these into different orders. So right now, shipments is on top. Of course, they're separated by the pop-up window, but specifically to the side panels, if we were to drag the shipments to the bottom and we save that, refresh this page, and now the customers are on top and the shipments are the second item. The other thing that's changed here, and it's related to side panels, is the ability to have visibility conditions. So while we're talking about the order of shipments and customers, these different navigation targets, additionally, we could decide whether they show up based on visibility conditions. So for example, maybe we only want to show the customer profile in certain conditions, or there may be other generic inquiries, lists of data, where you only show data sets when that particular record has relevant information on it. So we'll do an example here. We could add a condition, and maybe that condition is something related to an attribute for the customer. Maybe we only want to show it should that customer match a certain value in their attribute. So maybe industry attributes is equal to biotechnology or we could say does not equal biotechnology. So if we save this, and many of you know from the last version of Acumatic, you have a little preview pane here that you could look at. So the records we're looking for are AA customer and A bartending. So if we jump out to customers, and we'll open those up under attributes, We'll choose for one of them, biotechnology. And the other one, we'll leave it alone. So now if we go back to our generic inquiry, we've saved this visibility condition. What this means is this side panel will only show up should this value equal. And again, there are many different reasons for visibility conditions. This is just an example of how it works. So if we view this, Notice you can see the customer panel here. If I go down to a bartending, you can see it disappear. Additionally, Acumatica added this active panel. This can be very helpful if you're troubleshooting different navigation targets. Maybe they're not working. Maybe you put something together and it's bombing out for your end user. You may want to just unclick one of these temporarily while you troubleshoot it somewhere else. And to do that, just uncheck the active. And again, when we refresh, you can now see there's only one side panel. The other thing Acumatica added is the ability to define where notes, for example, are attached. So previously, if we take a look at customers, over here on the left-hand side, you can see your attachments and your notes. But with Acumatica, of course, the generic inquiries could be multiple tables. So where do we attach this note? Do we attach it here? Or in the situation, again, where there's multiple tables, looking at DB track packages, where are these notes being attached? So right now, for example, it could be the customer. It could be the shipment. If we go back to this generic inquiry, you can see there's a number of different tables associated to make this generic inquiry work. So over here under attached notes, we now have the ability to define which table we're going to store those notes and attachments. So if we run this inquiry again, you can see the notes, there's now four notes at the top. Over here, there was only one, indicating that probably the notes were coming from something else. But right now, if we were to add a note to bartending, and we open up this customer, bartending, that is a link, click on notes and you can see that note. In previous versions, 
of Acumatica with generic inquiries, the notes could show up in another table and you really didn't know where you were leaving them. So that's it. That's generic inquiry improvements of 2021 R1 preview of features. Thanks so much for watching and subscribing to our channel and have a great day.